Hey there guys and welcome back to Dead Rising 2 Off The Record. I hope you brought a fresh pair of underpants cause we're going back out there to tussle with some zombies. Ooh, a couple bricks. Uh, yeah, I'll take the brick along, why not? What the hell is that? Giant dice, a dollar sign, and a heart-shaped mattress? Okay then. And what do we have here? Just storage rooms and a dumpster? Yeah, that's not really going to be a very effective weapon against zombies, I think. Though, I guess you could trap one in a dumpster. Alright, uh, the restroom's over there. Just in case Frank needs to take a piss, which, at the moment, I'm good. Uh, there was a, a, an elevator supposed to be around. Okay, that's the uh, sick bay. What do we have in here? A medical tray. Well, I guess it makes for a decent weapon in a pinch. Ooh, pizza! Yeah, I'll take the pizza. The guitar was about to break anyway. Let's see, I still have a lead pipe, a fire extinguisher, a defibrillator. Is that really going to be very effective against zombies? Do they even give a crap about electrocution? Or would the defibrillator perhaps bring them back to life? Ooh, handgun. Uh, screw the fire extinguisher. That's probably not going to be a very good weapon anyway. Come on. Examine. Get, the, get that thing away from here. Just, uh... Crap, I can't throw it. For some reason you can't throw stuff while in here. Okay, handgun. That's a pretty common zombie slaying weapon, I assume. Alright, safe house rooftop. Let's see if we can see how bad things are from up here. Things are starting to heat up. Frying pans, that is. You know what's better than an explosion? Five of them. There's no arguing that fact. Alright, what do we have here? Alright, we can go here. Ooh, like a cinder block. And what else? Wait, is that an assault rifle? Remote mines? Holy shit, why the hell is that here? Well, I'll take the assault rifle then. That is definitely gonna come in handy, I think. And what do we have there? A broom? A dumpster? Can I get up there? I don't think I can. Anything else up here that might be any use? Other than these giant AC units? Which I doubt I can do anything with. Okay, we have a landing pad here for, like, helicopters. I guess to evacuate people, which is probably what'll happen in three days. But, yeah, I'd see... Ooh, a ladder up there. Come on. Okay, there has to be something up there. How do I get up there, though? That's a whole nother question entirely. Perhaps on this side? No, not really. Maybe you have to do something clever with the dumpster or something, I don't know. Let's just go back because we have to go and get to the Zombrax already. Because time is always ticking in this game. And if you don't get a move on, then you will eventually fail, like start to lose missions. And hopefully not lose the main quest because then you're pretty much screwed. Hey there, Crystal. At least some people made it out of the arena. Ooh, a fire axe. That has got to be a more effective weapon than the lead pipe, no doubt. I mean, I've played The Walking Dead, and the axes were pretty common weapons in that. So I'm going to go with this one. Alright, what do we have here? An a vent. Go on, Frank. Yank it open. You're a pretty strong guy. Surely you can do that. Alright, looks pretty good. <laughs> you can't keep Frank West bottled up. Frank West is too much of a bona fide badass to be contained by anything. Anyway, this will be your main way in and out of the safe house. It's bull that you can get PP for free. Hmm, I wonder what that hints to. Like a, maybe a mechanical bull? Or a big dartboard or something? I don't know. I guess we'll see when we get to that casino. Alright, uh, where are we now? Back in the game. Yep, Frank, ready for some action. Alright, we are now back in the mall. Well, actually, I haven't been to the mall yet, but yeah, basically this game takes place in sort of a Las Vegas-esque city with casinos and malls and crazy shops and a whole bunch of stuff. It's really one big playground. Frank, I found a travel brochure for Fortune City. 
Right now you're in the Royal Flush Plaza. Roy's Mart is on the other side of the mall. And that's where I can find some Zombrex, I assume. Uh, like economy, okay. You also need money in this game, so be sure to uh, acquire lots of that. Security box key, 500 bucks. Who just leaves that lying around? Alright, out we go. Close this up. I don't want the zombies getting to the safe house. And chop them. Oh yeah, this is definitely effective. Look at all that gore. My tux is already completely ruined. Oh boy, oh boy. What do we have here? Ooh, take a picture of that. Because sometimes, if you take pictures of these billboards, you can uh, get combo cards. Because another really fun feature in this game is that you can combine all sorts of stuff together to make crazy zombie slaying weapons. And it's pretty damn cool. And you can... Uh, they also earn you a lot of PP just by killing zombies with them, so they're a really good way to level up fast. However, you only achieve PP when using the combo weapons if you actually have the combo card. You can get some combo cards just by playing the game, some by leveling up, but for others you have to like take pictures of posters or billboards or other stuff that kind of gives Frank an idea. He has like a revelation and then he makes some crazy weapon. It's a pretty damn cool feature. Uh, I think there are about 60 different combo weapons, so yeah, they definitely give you lots of stuff to play around with. And some of them, okay, some of them are fairly mundane. Like, I think one of them is a, uh, a broom with basically like a big knife strapped to the end. That's not really very original, basically just a spear. But there's also one, for example, combine a, a tiki torch with a tennis racket and you can... You have a tennis racket that sh pretty much fires flaming tennis balls. That is pretty creative. Also pretty cool. However, I don't remember that one being particularly effective. Anyway, Roy's Mart. This is where the Zombrex has to be. If it's, not, if it's not in a pharmacy, then where the hell is it? Sandwich board. I thought it was a pizza box. Oh, well. What do we have in Roy's Mart? Ah, oh, crap. Looters. Oh, boy. Hope they didn't take all the Zombrex. Well, they're still here. I guess I can just beat them up and take the Zombrex from them. Pry them from their cold, dead hands. Fantastic. Yep, fantastic. That's kind of one of his catchphrases. Gotta love it. Hey! I know you're holding out on us. Where's the money? Where's the safe? Ugh. Come on! Don't lie to me! We don't have a safe! Don't lie Hey. Don't you have something better to do? Why don't you mind your own business, old man? Just looking for some meds. No need to get ugly. Well, you're definitely gonna need some painkillers when I'm done with you. Well, talking to you is giving me a headache. Oh, yeah? What say you give me some money, and I'll go get some for you? Yeah, give us some money, Grandpa. We'll help ya. How about it, Grandpa? You got any money? Ah, oh, Frank's such a badass. Sees a bunch of people threatening a woman, a woman with weapons. What's he gonna do? Beat the shit out of him with an axe. Oh shit, does he have a Molotov cocktail? Oh yeah, I still have the assault rifle. Jeez. Yeah, don't threaten a guy with an assault rifle, assholes. Okay, I guess they didn't see that he had an assault rifle on him, but still. Suckers. Uh, oh, a key. I wonder what's that, what that's for. Probably that door, otherwise the camera wouldn't have focused on it. Pharmacy key. Yep. Uh, flashlight, crowbar. Oh, tomahawk. I lost my fire axe somewhere, so I guess this will have to do. Oh, cash register. This is also one way of getting money. Just throw the cash register. I'm basically doing the exact same thing that those guys were doing, robbing the place, but yeah. I saved her life, so I'm allowed to. Alright, let's go talk to the woman and pick up my tomahawk. Hey there, Denise. Thought they were gonna kill me. Well, yeah, probably. Are you hurt? Mm, don't think so. Yeah, you got here before they, before they did horrible, horrible stuff to her. I'm a hero. Oh, and this is also the first survivor you'll be escorting to the bloody safe house. 
Oh boy. Some might not come with you willingly. Yes, there are a lot of insane idiots in this game that have you do the craziest thing just to get them to save their own lives. I know, yeah, Zombrax. We need it at 8 a.m. Uh, what time is it now? Yeah. Just let me go to the menu. Yes, I know this. Check watch. All right. It is now 4.29 a.m. So I have about three and a half hours before I need the Zomrex. All right, come on, Denise. We'll get you back to the safe house. One thing you can do to make the survivor part a lot easier is just to give them a weapon. So here, have this crowbar. Go and go Gordon Freeman on their asses. I'll take the tomahawk, and... Oh, crap, they're shuffling in already. All right, zombies, let's roll. Ooh, jeez. Damn, slice them up good. Guess Frank might be part Native American. Just slicey, slicey, slicey. Nice. Doesn't really tear them limb from limb that much. Shit, that's a lot of zombies. Only 85 pp, though. Guess I should have taken a closer picture. All right. Come on, Denise. Ooh, jeez. She knows how to handle a crowbar. Bash him up real good. Come on. It's not that far to the safe house, luckily. So this shouldn't be that much of a hassle. Oh, shit. Thing broke already. I'm not really keen on wasting the assault rifle. The defibrillator, I doubt that's a very effective weapon. Ah, a sign. When in doubt, pick up a sign and bash people over the head with it. Oh, you want to get a signed picture? Have the sign in your forehead? Nice. Oh, jeez. Eh, it's not a very strong weapon, but it knocks him down, lets you pass. You don't have to kill him, you just have to get him to not attack you. Oh, crap, they got her. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. Nice, and without hitting her. I'm such a pro at this game. Come on, Denise. Just, just run, just ignore the zombies. I mean, look at how slow they're moving. You can totally just walk right through them. And not really have that much of a problem with them. Uh, a pizza. Yeah, let's bash zombies over the head with a pizza. Ooh, baseball bat. I will take that. There's one standard zombie killing weapon. It's this thing. And let's see. Now oh, we're almost there already. Safe house is right there. Let's mark it on the map. And bunk. Ah, I love the sound the baseball bat makes when it crushes a skull. Oh, jeez. Get off me, woman. Construction worker zombies. Just people shopping zombies, I guess. You will see lots of... Oh, ATM machine. Oh, crap. Wow, they give you a shit ton of money. Okay, whenever I'm going to see an ATM machine, I'm going to smash the shit out of it, because that makes you a very rich man. I'm pretty sure actual ATM machines are much harder to crack open, though. I'm pretty sure you can't get them open with with something as simple as a baseball. Oh, shit. Sorry, Denise. That's what sometimes happens. Oh, jeez. The weapons in this game are awfully flimsy, though. Oh, a leaf rake. Oh, nice. This has got some good range on it. Definitely helps for knocking them out of my way. I doubt it's very strong, because, come on, it's only a leaf rake, but... Yeah, it at least pushes them back decently enough. Coming through. Frank the Gardener here. Gonna mow the lawn of you zombies. Alright, come on, Denise, we're almost there. Just go through this door. Come on. Ah, shit, they got her again. Don't worry, I'm coming. I got my gun. Bam, bam. There, that's some sharp shooting. Alright, come on. Get in here. I'll shut the door. No, get in here. Oh, crap. Just get in here. I know you want to bash some zombies over the head, but just get in here. No. Okay, if you don't want to listen, go there. Jeez, what's wrong with them? Oh, shit. Oh, that is not good. I need a weapon. Fire extinguisher. Go on, bash him over the... Oh, shit. Get off me. Bash him over the head with it. Okay, she got that one. Um... Uh, Oh, I killed that one with the backwards headbutt. Okay, let's see what this does. Uh, it turns them blue. Is it frozen? Fire extinguishers can freeze people? Alright, uh, handbag. 
Yes, I just killed a zombie with a handbag. And a fire extinguisher, but still. How many people can say they've killed a zombie with a handbag? And Frank, that is not how you eat a pizza. Hurry, this way. If you eat a pizza like that, you're gonna get it all over your face. Maybe that's what he's going for, maybe he likes that, but uh, yeah. If you eat a pizza like that at uh, Chuck E. Cheese or Pizza Hut or I don't know, people are gonna look at you real funny. Come on, Denise, we're almost there. Oh, a shovel. That's probably a pretty decent weapon. Gotta keep that handy. <coughs> and what do we have here? Oh, it's the tunnel. Alright. She's with me. Back to the surface. Bring down the Zombrex machine. Oh, there's a Zombrex machine in the Palisades? Okay, I guess we'll go there sometime and get some Zombrex from it. Keep your eyes open for money cases. Thank you for saving my life. Wait, she's 21. I wouldn't have given her that. I thought she was like in her 30s at least. Alright. Hey, it's Sullivan again. Where on earth did you find him? Never mind. I don't want to know. Well, I wasn't just going to leave him there. We can't afford to have any more infected in here. One's enough. I'm pretty sure she wasn't infected, though. It's time to drink like a cold Russian winner. Well, those Russians sure know how to drink. Anyway, for saving survivors, you get a shit ton of PP, which lets you level up. Inventory increase, now can carry an extra item, new skill move. They can do a roundhouse kick, like Chuck frickin' Norris. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Dead Rising 2, off the record. Thanks for watching, bye bye